found a side quest! Well, isn't this a nice surprise? Hello everyone, Alec Alger the SideQuest Gamer here, and there's been a YouTuber chain going around where we answer questions based on this tag, and I was nominated by, of course, Jay of Jay's Reviews to answer these very questions. This'll be fun. I want to give my thoughts on the series, but I don't have an external capture card, so I can't review them and give my take, so this will suffice. And no, Jay did not start this chain as much of a Sly Cooper fan he is. He was actually tagged by some other YouTuber who I believe was also tagged. Anyways, I'd also invite you in the comments to answer these questions as well as if you're like a Sly Cooper fan, or at least played some of the games. Please, go ahead, I'd love to hear your answers. Number 1. What year did you start playing the games? Let's see, I was a junior in high school and it was during a nice day outside when my friend Jake was selling his games for $5 each, so I bought Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonas for the original PS2, I'd like to say in 2012? Since I graduated in 2013, so... 2012 it is. Number 2. What was the first Sly game you played? Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. At the time, with my PS2 consisting of mainly post-Naughty Dog Crash Bandicoot games since I was a huge Crash fan back then, and I had a ton of like movie and TV licensed games, at the time, I considered this to be the best game I ever played for the PS2. I don't hold these feelings anymore, but that just goes to show how much of an impact the first game had. Number 3. How old were you when you first started playing Sly Cooper? Like I said, junior in high school, so I like to say I was 17. Number 4. Who is your favorite character in the games apart from Sly? Jeez, you have to ask the hard questions. Well, it really depends, but I'd probably say Bentley since he's been through the most throughout all four games. It also helps that I really enjoy playing as him in games 2 through 4. It's not just because he's smart, but I don't know, there's something likable about Bentley because while Sly has always been courageous and confident, Bentley has kind of been timid in the beginning and he slowly gains his confidence throughout the games. And with the really crushing ending of Sly 2, it's just, he's been through a lot. You kind of feel for the character, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I'll say Bentley the Turtle. I don't care what anyone says, he's an amazing character. Number 5. What is your favorite game in the series? As cliche as it is for a Sly Cooper fan, Sly 2 Band of Thieves. It made me rethink Sly 1 when I first played it because after an awesome introduction inside a museum, you go to Paris and discover what the Sly series will become from now on. An open world with missions to do. Well, the world's not really open because there's like different types of open worlds, but there's like a main central hub world with missions contained in them throughout this little cityscape. And I thought that was a really clever way to take the series to. It was a very clever direction. Now, there's nothing wrong with Sly 1's way of doing things, but let's face it, the enemies were so easy to take out, and they can so easily spot you so that there's like not a lot of reason to be stuck stealthy during a heist, except for those lasers, but that's about it. Now that you have a bigger health bar, so do the enemies, and I especially like the incorporation of the big enemies with the flashlights because if you get caught by them, you either have to hide quickly or take their bullets, which usually results in your death. And that's really thrilling. Not to mention how with this setup, it feels more like a heist and less like a platformer starring a thief that only steals keys and pages, that's about it. And I think because the ending has such an impact on me, it's probably why that's my favorite in the series since no other game has left that much of an impact. Number 6. How did you discover the game series? Well, I discovered it when playing the first game on the PS2, but I wanted to try all three Sucker Punch games, so I bought the Sly Cooper HD collection on a whim, and despite the technical inferiorities, mainly with the sound mixing as some people have pointed out, like JFJ's reviews, I really enjoyed playing all the games on that collection. Number 7. Why do you like this game series? 
Okay, I admit I'm not as big of a fan as my colleague JFJ's reviews, but I do quite enjoy the games a bit because of Sly Cooper, the character himself. He's so confident and likable, especially when interacting with Interpol officer Carmelita Fox. I really like her as well. She's like the perfect foil to Sly's character. And I also like how he's friends with these two misfits and uses their only strengths as aid. Bentley is the brains that hacks into computers but is very timid, while Murray is the muscles that is useful in taking out a group of enemies but he's not really that smart. He's not stupid, but he's not really smart. He's kind of, I don't know how to describe it, below average intelligence, but it doesn't matter because he's a useful asset to the gang. So yeah, that's probably why I like the Sly games, other than that they're well made games. Number 8. Do you remember your first impressions of the games? Like I said, I used to think Sly 1 was the best game on the console, but I didn't really play a lot of high quality games since it mostly contained of licensed games. So that's no longer my opinion. Sly 2 is epic thanks to this like world structure that makes the missions feel like part of a grand scheme to pull off the ultimate highs. I liked it so much that I felt it made the first game not outdated, but rather not the series new quality standard, so therefore not as fun. Sly 3, despite being my second favorite in the series now, I remember I stopped playing it after the second world because of how boring those missions were. I did pick it up after a few months, and despite that lame second world, I loved the rest of the game so much. And Sly 4, I bought it at Walmart for $20, and despite its mixed reputation, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I liked how Sly Cooper's very existence was hanging in the balance, and I liked the interaction with his ancestors, especially Tennessee Kid Cooper. Heck, I even really liked playing as some of the ancestors. Number 9. How often do you play the games now? Let me tell you, as a guy who makes YouTube videos, I spend more time making videos on games than actually gaming. I honestly wish I had more time to game because then I'd probably be playing them a lot more often if I did. I recently replayed Sly 2 with a more critical mindset and enjoyed it even more than I did the first playthrough. And with me having hundreds of games, it is in my top 30 favorite games of all time now. Seriously, I wish I had more time to replay all the games because they're pretty fun. And last but not least, Number 10. What are you most excited for, Sly 5 or the Sly Cooper movie? Well, to be honest, I pretty much gave up faith in both projects since the Sly movie is being made by the same people who made Ratchet and Clank the movie, which I have no interest in even seeing because from what the previews show me, it's just not funny. It doesn't look funny. The best scenes that are usually put in a trailer are not funny, so I have no interest in seeing it simple as that. And knowing that the Ratchet and Clank movie was a theatrical bomb, I doubt the Sly movie is even being made anymore, nor did the trailer even interest me at all. Sly 5, however, I want that game to come out because of the Sly 4 cliffhanger, and I hope they would continue to go through time to meet more of Sly's ancestors. Problem is that Sanzero Games is still making portable Sonic Boom games, and unless Fire and Ice didn't sell well, I doubt Sly 5 will ever be made, so the answer is a most definite Definite Sly 5, even though I don't have faith that will ever come into fruition. But anyways, for you in the comments, let me know your answers to these questions in the description below. I'd love to hear your perspective on the series. Anyways, I nominate my buddy Kevin, aka Redbird36, to fill out these questions. Thank you all so much for watching, and remember to stay sneaky. Ah, oh, come on. That, yeah, that was bad. Whatever. <laughs>